Hi, I want to give you a quick rundown on the which future assignment. It's a great way to begin the semester because it's pretty easy. Uh, it's, it's also interesting, I think. It gives you a chance to glimpse into the future, your future, and, and how to create it. The scenario planning process is a way that gets people together to collaborate on figuring out which future might, might, might be possible and how to create it. Uh, the, the language and the outcomes give you a way to talk about the direction in terms of direction alignment commitment. A big part of leadership is being able to define that direction. Uh, it sets the stage for a lot of the topics we're going to be talking about this semester. And hopefully you'll find uh, these possible futures uh, pretty interesting, uh, not just because some of them are actually quite, quite charming and good and attractive, uh, but also it helps give a sense of what we might want to avoid. So let me pull up the assignment. I'm going to share my screen here and show you the assignment as soon as I find it. There it is. Okay, here is the assignment. Uh, it gives you a basic introduction, asks you to read the five scenarios of possible futures, which I've copied and pasted at the end of the document, and then look at this, this, this article um, that's open access and available for you to read. Uh, I'm not asking you to read the whole whole scientific arg argument, just the introduction, figure two and figure four. Uh, let me let me take you to these diagrams. I, I've got a blown up version of it here for you. Um, you can see uh, the, the abstract, the introduction, just a couple pages here, but I want to skim down to figures two and four, just so you can see the, so what I'm expecting to look at. Here's, here's figure two, and it looks at the amount, the changes in population and how well people are educated, what their literacy rate is, how urban we're going to be, and, and this is important for most of us, uh, how much money people are making, right, if, and, and how, how much inequality there is uh, under each of those scenarios. And then go down to the next figure, figure four that I'm asking you to look at, uh, traces the projected amount of farmland and forest land, so huge implications here for ecosystem services and biodiversity and other natural land and habitat. Uh, so then back to the assignment. Um, I'm asking you to define those different scenarios. I'm asking you to, to uh, say which ones you prefer, rank order them in preference, rank order them in terms of the likelihood and the likelihood and the preference might not be the same. As you're doing that, generate some questions. What questions do you have uh, that you want to ask me and, and the group? Uh, what are your reasons for the preferences? What are your reasons for the likelihood? And what are the implications for your future of these, for your future, for your career, for what you should be studying for these different futures? Uh, then we're going to get together on Zoom uh, next week. And I'm asking you to, uh, after I do a little bit of introduction, we're going to go into breakout groups. You're going to meet some people. You're going to figure out who they are. You're going to discuss these same questions. Uh, what are questions you have? What are your reasons for the, your preferences and the likelihood? And what are the implications for your different careers? And then uh, we'll get back together and talk by Zoom in, in the main breakout room. I expect some of you will join me. I'm going to call you at random to come and join me. And your faces will be right up there with mine. And we'll have a little discussion about these different topics. So take notes and be prepared to report out. And then, uh, and then do the assignment, which is to fill out this form pretty much just like it's listed here. You can download this whole thing. You can cut it and paste it into Word, or you can work right on, on Google Docs if you want to make a copy of it and use it there. What are your rankings? What are your breakout group members' rankings? What are their, who are they? What are, where are they coming from? Basically, the, jot down your, the answers to the questions that you discussed while you were together. And then give a little bit more serious thought to really what are, what are the most preferred, you know, the reasons for the most preferred, most likely, and, and the impacts on your career and what you should be studying. And overall lessons learned. That's pretty much it, right? That's, that's, that's the assignment. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I do expect you, you will need to join us on Zoom, have that discussion to breakout groups because that's a big part of your grade is participating in the discussion, sharing your ideas, reflecting on those ideas, practice active listening, practice explaining what, what, what your reasons are, develop a language that we can talk about these things. So you need to join us and be prepared to engage in the breakout group and be prepared to then uh, be called at random uh, to join me in the main session and discuss uh, your answers uh, to one or more of those questions. Okay, so enjoy the assignment. Email me if you have questions.